Hey, welcome back to my channel and to the insanity that is the search for Kyle part two, hopefully the last of the parts, but I don't know, to be honest, because there's a lot, there's a lot. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know that I ended up spending 824 tickets and I don't even, I'm not even kidding, you guys, I'm not lying, I'm not even kidding, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, probably a lot of montages coming up. Obviously, the uh, the spiciest villagers will be highlighted for sure. But yeah, it's it's um it is it's it's a mess. You'll see, you'll see. Just hang on tight. Um, and if you haven't seen part one, where I begin this perilous journey. I will link it down below as well as put it in the cards. So definitely check that out and hold on because it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Thanks a lot, Wilbur, for that one. Did you guys see that post? It was like circulating. Um, I wish I remembered where I saw it or who posted it, but somebody said they made this like really beautiful tribute. I love when people make these like beautiful tributes to like their loved ones on their islands. That's so beautiful, I love it. Um, I've seen some beautiful like memorials and stuff and one person made this beautiful memorial for their grandparents. I mean, she had like two rocking chairs by the ocean and a bunch of stuff that reminded her of her grandparents and Zucker was over there looking at it. She said like nobody ever went over there and then Zucker showed up and was over there because you know Zucker and Zucker literally said to her and I guess this is like a part of their dialogue um, so it wasn't like he knew or anything. This is, a, like, one, this is something that they'll say like if they're ever near furniture or something. And um, Zucker was like, I was gonna sit down here, but then I wanted to keep it open in case grandpa came to visit or like grandma came to visit or something. And I was like, oh my God, Zucker would. Zucker is like an omniscient like being. I love Zucker. I just thought that was so sweet. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh my God, like Wolfgang again? Are you kidding me? This hurts. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's really hard to know what to do because like Wolfgang is so cute, but oh, I'm gonna pick coconuts and think about it. No, if I if I can honestly, if I can if I can say no to Marshall and Zucker, who I was just talking about, may be an actual like omniscient, all-knowing being who is here sent here to save us and protect us and comfort us then I, I can't, I simply cannot invite Wolfgang to my island, not now. I do really love Wolfgang though. I think out of all the wolves, he's probably the most like, just all around attractive. I mean, other than Kyle, obviously. But he's just, everything about him is perfect. And I love that jacket that they put him in for this one. I wish they hadn't. And the only ones left that I think will really like ruffle feathers if I get them and I have to pass them up is like Lucky, Anka, Adi, maybe Flurry, Raymond, obviously, maybe Whitney. Maybe if I got like Tucker or Drago, which I love those two. Oh, Bob, if I got Bob, oh my God, imagine how much the internet would hate me if I got Bob or Tangy or Ketchup. So I guess I haven't gotten all the best ones yet, but I mean, who else do people like a lot? Um, Sherb, obviously, Bo and Eric, Zell. Who's gonna be amongst the bamboo? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Are you kidding me, Hamfrey again? Yo, Hamfrey, don't let me catch you out here again. Do you understand me? Rhonda, is that Rhonda, is that her name? I like her dress, but I just, I she is just not it. You know, I like her, I do like her design. I think the hair, I think honestly, if she didn't have that hair, people would love her so much more than they do. I really do, I think that the hair is weird. Look at Cranston's mohawk. What's up, Cranston? Cranston really out here looking like a xenomorph. <gasps> Y'all, am I cursed? Or like, I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse, I really don't. Is this a blessing or is it a curse? Comment down below and tell me, what the witch who cursed me has done to me and what I did to the witch to make her curse me with this curse that makes it so that I get all the best villagers except the one I want. I 
I mean, I should be used to this by now. I should be totally desensitized to this. I should be used to it. Uh, but I'm not. This is Sherb, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sherby, Sherby, Sherb, Sherb, Sherb. This is Sherby, Sherby boy. Our Sherby boy who is little baby Sherb, who is actually uh, a certified baby. He is a... He is the baby that the people have chosen. This is Sherb, you guys. I'm trying to like just make myself like wake up. I'm like, you know, I, I just like looked away and then looked back and I'm like, am I really doing this right now with Sherb on an island? I got an open house. He's in his sweater. Oh, Sherby. Listen, Sherb, I hate this. I hate, I hate this. I hate having to do it to you. I gotta leave Sherb. If I can't invite Marshall, uh, or any of the other ones that I, I mean, Zucker, like, I, and again, I'm, my allegiance is to Zucker now. I promised him that I would find Kyle and, and Zucker, he showed up again to give me his blessing and to tell me that he wants me to be happy with the man that I love. And I'm not going to disrespect that. But I can't, can you guys believe this? I, I'm either, you guys are either having fun watching this or you hate me and you've decided to hate me forever and have a personal vendetta against me for the rest of my life. I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse. I think it's a curse. It's a curse because like, yeah, this is really fun and all, but, um, but where's Kyle? You guys, I just got Sherb. <laughs> I just pulled up on uh, Sherb. You guys, I just left Sherb on the island. <laughs> I left Marshall on an island earlier. On this day in history, I left Sherb, Marshall, and Wolfgang on an island. I passed up Sherb, Marshall, Wolfgang. Why? All right, come on. Big money, no whammies, come on. Give me a K. Give me a Y, give me a L, give me a E. Oh my God, oh my God. Um, <laughs> at this point, this has to be a conspiracy theory. This is a conspiracy. What? You guys, <laughs> is this real? Is this a dream that I'm having and then I'm gonna wake up the next morning and be like, wow, I had a dream that I got all these villagers, but, but I, you know, still have to set out on my journey today. Uh, no, so this, no, this is not happening. Can somebody confirm that this is real? That what you're watching is the same thing as what I'm seeing? Is this Bo? Is this Bo? Is it Bo? Is that Bo? Is that, what is that, Bo? Is that Bo? <laughs> Hi, Bo. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I love Bo. And I don't know if you guys recall me saying, <clears throat> to reiterate, I believe the proclamation was, I am here looking for Kyle the Wolf. However, there are several villagers that I will make an exception for. Those villagers are as followed. Marshall, Zucker, Sherb, friggin' Bo, and Eric. So I haven't gotten Eric yet, but I guess, according to this, according to this, Eric's next. Eric's next. Eric's gonna be, oh, look at us. We both blinked. I gotta do like some fun, hey, why doesn't he care? Isn't this kooky, you guys? This is kind of scary. Like this must be kind of like a conspiracy theory, right? Nintendo, explain yourself. Nintendo, explain yourself. Nintendo's like, girl, I am just trying to provide you with content, girl. You're trying to break into the YouTube community. I'm trying to give you content, I know. I am very pleased, obviously. I think this has been a really fun hunt. Come on, Bo, can you just give me a, a crumb of your time, please? I've been through a lot, thank you. Um, if you didn't notice, I just got Sherb, and then right after I got Sherb and left him there, I got B.O. This is really weird. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. Step inside of a crazy Animal Crossing village hunt gone wrong. That's what the title's gonna be. 
of this video. Animal Crossing Villager Hunt gone wrong! That's it, because I mean, this is definitely gone wrong. Welcome back to the hellish vortex that is my reality. Today, we are looking on this island to see if my curse is still ravaging my reality. Oh, that's, um, that is, oh, I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Always got to have a frog name. Jeremiah. I'm not even, I'm like, you know, the song is cool, but it's so overplayed that people sing that when they see him that I'm going to do you the favor of sparing you. Instead, I will sing a different song. All by myself. Bamboo hell, yet again. And it's a Rowan. Rowan's a cute one. Rowan's like a, you're like very classic orange tiger. Rowan is also not Kyle, so <laughs> it's a problem. Quite a problem there, Rowan. Uh-oh. Here we go, one more time, everybody's feeling fine, here we go now. I'm actually not feeling fine, I'm feeling desperate and a little insane. Money Island, I've had good luck on Money Island, let's do it. Ugh, come on, is that friggin' T-Bone? Come on. Ugh. Why is this my life? Tell me why Ain't nothing but a mistake Tell me why I never wanna hear you say Kyle's not on this island today Oh, and he brought me to a freaking mountain too These mountains are really a hit or miss Like when you get to the top, if it's like a good one It's, it's really cool But if you get to the top and it's like a Then it's really not cool at all it's Tank, again, he, he was at the same island at one point. I climbed up this mountain twice for this man now. Two times so far I have climbed a whole ass mountain for Tank the Rhinoceros. And for what? And for what? I don't wanna wait for our lives to be over. I want to know right now, who will it be? Um, the curse is confirmed, so in case you guys weren't aware, curses exist, they're real. Because um, is this is Savannah. Hi, Savannah. Uh, Savannah is a zebra with blonde hair and green eyes. And she is another one of the best villagers ever. And yet, here I am having to tell her no. Having to tell Savannah the zebra no. This isn't fair. It isn't fair. She's so beautiful. Oh, I've never even seen her in real life. Oh, she reminds me of Pappy. Her and Pappy, though, goals. Where is Kyle? Where is Kyle? Is Kyle okay? At this point, I'm like concerned about him. So I need to like have the police do like a home check or something, a wellness check. What the hell? Like, where is he? Is he okay? What is going on? Oh my God, did I not say? Did I not say? I'm probably gonna get Tucker at some point, knowing my weird, crazy, cursed luck. This is outrageous. This is an outrage. I actually, I, I'm calling the manager of Animal Crossing. I need to speak to the manager. This is an outrage. You guys, do you, do you see this? This is real. This is real. This is happening. This is my life. It's not a movie. It's Tucker. It's Tucker, the woolly mammoth. Can you believe it? I, I'm like just, I'm staring at this, I'm blinking. I'm doing the blinking guy meme at this, at this woolly mammoth right now. He has the audacity to walk around with those tusks and that hair and the eyeshadow. Looking at me like he thinks that this is all a joke to him. Do you think that this is a joke? Do you think this is a joke, Tucker? Because it's not, it's my life, okay? This is my life. It might seem funny to you, but you have no idea what I've been through. Walk a mile in these Louboutins. As the great late Bilbo Baggins said, it's dangerous business, Frodo, going out your door. You step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might get swept off to. And that's literally, I'm living that right now. I live by that. 
There's no telling who you might meet out here on these, on these dirty, dirty roads. This is really another mountain. Another mountain. Mountains have been known to break my heart. Yep. Amazing. It's Groucho. Amazing. Groucho's not so bad. I like Groucho. I like his mouth. I think it's cute. I like his like weird bangs. Groucho, however, if you haven't noticed already, is not Kyle. Oh my god. This is the third time, the third time that this abomination had the audacity to show his face in my neighborhood. I can't believe this. You guys, Dell is unforgivable. We are not supposed to be giving rights to robots. I'm telling you, you guys are asking for a judgment day. You guys are asking for it, I swear to God. And I'm gonna be the one you guys are gonna remember. Amanda warned us. When Sprocket burns down your entire town with his laser eyes, you guys are gonna be sorry. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh no, is this Henry? No, oh, it's Prince. Ew. Okay, Prince is really weird. There's a lot of like, characters that are decent, and then they go and they, they like scribble all over them with facial hair. I don't want a frog with facial hair. I've never, who asked for this? Nobody, literally nobody. This is the meme, literally nobody. Animal Crossing, and then it's a frog with facial hair. It's so grotesque. I was really excited, I thought that was Henry. I love Henry. Henry's probably one of my favorite frogs. Henry and Drift, I think, and I love Tad too. I have a soft spot for Tad. Tad's like super basic, but he's, he was like my first ever like, like when I was really little on the GameCube. Um, and I had no friends, so I would just spend my entire summer in a beanbag chair with Animal Crossing. Tad was my boyfriend, and that's how, that's why I'm so messed up. Cause I was, my first boyfriend was a frog. Wow, this is, this is an outrage. This is ridiculous. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Do you guys see the same stuff that I'm seeing? Like, am I really do- this is really happening. So, um, in case you've never met Zell, get ready to have your whole entire life rocked. He, this boy will ruin your life. This boy will ruin your life and make it look like an accident. His name is Zell. He's a gazelle. And he's one of the best villagers in the game. <laughs> hmm. It's, a re it's almost like I'm getting every single villager that you've ever wanted and passing them up. I'm like, notice that I'm not even freaking out anymore. When I saw Marshall, I was like, Pah! and now I see Zell, who I love so much. <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, what's up, Zell? Yeah, I know. I know, you know, we all know this is Zell. And there's nothing we can do to change that. Look at Zell. Oh, he's so handsome. Zell, can we get a picture? Come on. Out of everybody, Zell is the least likely to pose for me because he's miserable, and that's why we love him. We love a sad boy. Zell, come on. This is really what you're gonna give me? This is totally Zell in a nutshell, though. This is his personality. Yep, there he is. This is Zell. For any, for any of you Zell fans, you know your boy. What am I going through? Really hoping I don't see Coco, though, and the reason I don't wanna see Coco is because I wanna stay safe. Because Coco is definitely cursed, you guys. Of course Coco's cursed, we all know it. She was cursed by a witch. I'm sure she was a nice girl before the curse. And I wonder if sometimes, like, if she's still in there somewhere, if there's, like, something that we can do to save her, to get her out of there. But for now, she is cursed by a witch. And I don't care what you say. I mean, Coco, dude, have you seen her face? Have you guys, is there, like, a thing where some people see something different, like, only true believers see what she really looks like and she's beautiful? I don't get the hype with Coco. I really don't. She scares me. She's a scary, scary thing. I don't even know what she is. It's kind of how I feel about Stitches, too. I hate to say it. And I know that if I get stitches and I go on my like stitches rant, you guys are gonna hate me. I also know it's very possible that I will get stitches knowing, knowing my luck. I don't know if it's luck or if it's a curse because the only one I want is Kyle. I'm so done. Another mountain. Wilbur, I swear to God, you can see who's on these mountains. Don't play around with me. You can, Wilbur can see and if this is someone who's clearly not Kyle, I'm gonna be very upset. Ugh, gross. It's freaking ew, it's Bud. Bud is nasty. Bud freaks me out. He's like that guy that you like beg your friend not to go off with during spring break. I don't know how popular Pico is, but she's really adorable and so sickeningly cute. I can't even believe it, I'm like gagging. Look at her, look at her little ears. I love her. I love everything about Pico. If you don't love Pico, get help. Bamboo Hell, Bamboo Wasteland, here we go. Who is it? Who is it? I thought it was Bob for a second, I was gonna scream. It's Sydney though, Sydney's a cutie. 
<gasps> See, I told y'all. I told you I would find every other good wolf. This here, this ma'am, this woman, this is Whitney, the wolf. And she had the audacity oh, to come here and show her face on my search for Kyle. Whitney, hi. Hi, baby girl. Whitney, come on. What are you doing here? Where is your boy Kyle? Listen, I know y'all run in a pack. Come on. Send your boy. I can't believe that I found Whitney before Kyle. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, I think it's pretty ironic. Oh, Whitney. You're better than me. Whitney is better than me and she always will be. Allie is so sickening. She's gorgeous. I love her teeth. I love her lipstick. I love her pink hands. I love her blush. I love, I mean, blue eyeshadow in 2020. That's a dangerous woman. If she's willing to wear blue eyeshadow in 2020, like what else is she willing to do? Queenie giving me that side eye. How dare you? You don't know me. You don't know the first thing about me, Queenie. Hi, Spike. Yes, it's me again. Don't you have somewhere to be, a job or something, anything? Kid, what are you doing here? I love Kid. Kid is so handsome. He goes, I bet you didn't expect to meet somebody like me here. You know what, kid? With the look he just gave me, that sent me. I'm simping for kid. Look at him still looking at me. Kid is dangerous. Kid is just the kind of man that would fit right in on my island. He is. He really is. I need, I need kid. I need Zell. I need Kyle. All three of them, they can be in a band together. Kid is the keyboard player. Zell is the bassist. And then Kyle, of course, is the is the front man. This sucks. I love Kid. Kid is one of my favorites for sure. And I'm having to leave him here. Bye, Kid. Bye, Kid's side bang. We're gonna do them as fast as we can. We're gonna go boop, 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 over and over and over. I don't even care if there's peaches at this point. I really don't. I have to stop stopping to pick peaches, girl. It's really not even that much. It ain't that deep, girl. I don't know why I'm always like, I can't leave these peaches. I just can't do it. I can leave Marshall, but I can't leave a friggin' peach. We're not doing this. I really, I, I just can't resist. Like every time I see the peaches, I'm like, score. It's probably really awkward for somebody who's a native uh, fruit is peaches. I know I would be really weirded out if somebody was tripping this hard over pears. I'd be like, girl, they're just pears. It's not that deep. God, if that ain't Lobo Jones up there, y'all keep sending the wrong wolves. I swear to God, I'm gonna have all the wolves before the end of the day, except for the one I'm looking for. Can you believe it, Lobo? Can you go get your friend? Go get your man. You know, Kyle, have you seen this boy, Kyle? He's about yay high, he's your exact, your exact layout, he just looks slightly better than you. You know what I will say about Lobo? He is much better looking in real life, in person. Like, I don't know, pictures don't tend to do Lobo justice for me. They make his eyes look weird, but he's actually really, really handsome. I'm <laughs> Lobo, you're kind of sending me, not gonna lie. Uh-oh, you go get Kyle now or else he's gonna miss out and you're gonna get the girl. You know how you spend so much time with somebody, you start to get sick of them. You start to just get sick of their face. I never thought it would happen to me. I never thought it would happen to me with my Orville and Wilbur. I love them, but I'm getting sick of them. I'm getting sick of Orville treating me like I'm an idiot. Like I don't come in here every single day, every single second of every day. For the last three days I've been coming in and he's still like, do you have everything? Are you sure? And I'm like, Orville, I just got off the plane. I got everything. I was out there before. Yes, if I need something, I'll take care of it. Oh, I got another mountain to climb. Come on, make it worth it. Come on. I deserve this. I've been working so hard. Come on. Make it worth it. It's a bird. It's Apollo. Out of everybody. No. Oh, wow. It's, um, it's Amelia. Oh, Amelia is so cute. Amelia, what's up, girl? What's up, Amelia? Pretty girl. Beautiful. Oh, she's sickening. She is a friendly face. She is a sight for sore eyes. Let me tell you. Let's get a picture, girl. Who is here at Bamboo Hell? Bamboo Hell? Bamboo Hell. Ooh, okay, so let's talk about Apple. Have I seen Apple yet? 
I think I have. Didn't I see Apple in the beginning and I told you guys about how I don't like her? Yeah, so I don't like Apple. She's like one of the most popular characters. Everybody loves Apple. I hate her. She's, a, she's my nightmare. This is my nightmare. I hate Apple. I think she's a nightmare. She's a walking, waking nightmare because, I mean, look at her. She's adorable and she's got such a great attitude. It's everything I hate. I'm just kidding. I mean, she's fine, like, but that's it. Like, I just feel like, eh, she's fine. She's fine. You know, she's Apple, whatever. She's just like too, she's kind of like, a, she kind of gives me like zipper vibes, you know? You know how zipper's like too happy? That's how I feel about Apple. I'm like, Apple, do you ever have a bad day like the rest of us? Officially, I have gotten all three octopuses multiple times, at least twice, if not three times. Hey girl, how cute are you? Oh my God, she's so cute. All right, I just caught a glimpse of the villager up here. You guys might actually be able to see him too, but this is gonna, this is gonna ruffle some feathers. Look at this. First of all, I want to. I, I just want to note that this is a wolf. Um, so now we are we are pretty far down the wolf list of all the wolves that I've seen, except for Kyle. Um, now I did get Dobie last time I was searching for a villager, so he you know isn't as shocking to me. However, I know that a lot of people search high and low for this man. He's so cute. He's old. He's, he's like elderly, like incredibly elderly. Like he's kind of like the Crypt Keeper, but you gotta love him. You know, you gotta love him. He's, uh, I don't know, it's just for me, I, I think I've said this and I'll say it again, my island is no place for, uh, for retirement for an elderly man who's lived his life and he's probably, you know, had his, had his glory days and his, his crazy days and he needs something, um, he needs something quiet and peaceful and my island would be a nightmare for a man like this. I think that he would probably have a stroke in, in three days upon moving to my island. So I would never subject him to that. Um... And you know, I just I like islanders that are gonna come and they're gonna stir the pot and they're gonna they're gonna cause drama and they're just gonna make my life interesting. Um, but I think it would be funny, like some of, something I think about like often. If I had like a if I had all the time in the world, if for some reason I like won the lottery and I never had to do anything ever again, and I could just make I could just have like multiple switches and multiple islands, I would just like make an entire island dedicated to all of the elderly in Animal Crossing and I would just gather them all up. So let's see, there's Billy, Walt, Dobie, Lionel. Who else is elderly? There's like other elderly people. I don't know if there's any elderly women. That is, that rings sort of misogynistic to me just because like they always, I don't know, there's just like always a thing where it's like old women, like women past the age of, of, um, of like desirability are like not even people anymore hold on i i'm good i'm going on a tangent but wait um animal crossing i know i'm missing people because there's like a couple there's like a good old there's like a whole nursing home full of elderly villagers yuka i think that yuka i guess yuka might be an elderly villager grizzly um I think a lot of people think Apollo is old. I would say Apollo is like, he's like older, but he's not, he's like Brad Pitt old, you know, where like Brad Pitt's not old, but he's old, you know, like you shouldn't be dating him if you're not also old. If you're young, probably shouldn't date Brad Pitt or Leonardo DiCaprio, by the way, girls, ladies, 23 year old ladies, come on, know your worth. Anyway, <laughs> that's a hot take. But um, I think Ike is supposed to be elderly. Dell, maybe. Who's Dell? Oh my God, Dell is a robot. Dell doesn't have age. Um, Boomer the penguin. He's an old villager. But like, I'm thinking like the old. I think I think on my on my Animal Crossing, on my Animal Crossing nursing home, I would have Dobie, Billy, Boomer. Yuka and and Walt. There's Lionel too. Lionel's on the island. He's elderly. I'm talking like elderly. I'm not talking like just old weird boomers. I'm talking like nursing home. Like this is a home for people to come retire. Hamfrey. Hamfrey's kind of old, right? Hamfrey's old. Yeah, I think those are the only elderly elderly people. Which like good for them. You know, they've lived like a long life and I think that they deserve to like retire. And that's why I will never subject them to coming to my island. Like Dobie is too pure for my island. He really is. 
Um, then again, we probably need his wisdom. You know, look at this man. Ooh, oh my God, it's Becky. Ooh, I love her. Okay, oh my God. She looks like, literally like a queen. Oh my God, look at that side eye. Girl, let's get a better look at this girl. <gasps> I could never. Also, uh, notice how purple she is, right? She's purple. She's got purple hair, purple bangs, and she chose, she chose, she made the choice to put on green eyeshadow. That's bold. That is brave. That's dangerous. Oh my God. That woman, look at her. She, oh my God. She is, an, I'm getting a restraining order on this woman, actually. She is not allowed within 20 feet of my island. Imagine if Goose got one look at Becky. She calls you Chicklet. What a girl. I think we better do a montage. As you can see here, clearly, this is our Lord and Savior, Anka. The Anka. Thank you very much. I am obsessed with you. <sighs> this is interesting. This is really interesting because uh, I don't know if you guys remember this, but there were just a handful of villagers, not very many at all, that I had uh, that I had explicitly said in the beginning of this, when everything started back when I back when I had faith in the world, back when I thought that the world was a fair place. I was like, you know, I might just have to call off the search if I find just a very small handful of select villagers. Let's see, it was Marshall, Zucker, Bo, um, Sherb, and I'm pretty sure there was just one girl on the list, only one final girl, and it was Anka. You know Anka, the Egyptian goddess cat? Have you ever seen Anka? Well, if you haven't, here she is. This is Anka. The one and only girly that I was hoping to find. And I have been confronted with pretty much every single villager. I think I also said Eric. I haven't seen Eric yet, but honestly, he's probably coming right around the corner. Look at this bitch. Oh my God. My sickening goddess queen. How the f- Ooh, that's cute, girls. That is cute, ladies. Hold on. Ladies, are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, look at y'all. Oh, this might just be a bonding experience. <gasps> no, what if I just like move out another villager instead? Oh God, you guys, how am I supposed to? Oh, she's like, hey, she's like posing with me. Let's do this one. Let's do a silly one. Look at her. She does everything I do. Oh my God, look at us. We're best friends. Pom pom who? Oh no, girl, girl. I am really. I love you. <laughs> Look at us. We're perfect. I can't even believe this is happening. You guys, why is this happening to me? Why me? We just had a photo shoot. We had a best friend's photo shoot. Um, we had an instant connection. <sighs> and now I have to leave her here? I don't know if I can do that. Um Anka, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Can we make a plan or something? Can you, can we just like make a plan? Like, listen, girl, listen, I'm gonna confide in you because you're my girl. Honestly, you're my girl and I feel like I can talk to you. There's a guy, okay? There's a guy and I, I know, I, I know, I know, girl. I know, I am simping, I'm sorry, okay? I know, girl. I know, I don't need no man, but I do. I actually need this particular man really bad. I know, hoes before bros, but I just, if I can find him, if I can just find him and invite him to my island, I will kick out anyone and I'll be back for you, girl. I really will. I'll let you get your affairs in order. I'm sure you need some time anyway. You probably have an entire civilization to run. Um, so, you know, you can go down there and get all your affairs in order, take care of your stuff, and then we'll link up. You know, we'll link up when we're ready because this is just like, it's the timing. It's just the timing. That's it. I just want to see what she says. She is a movie star and she is she is the exotic vacation. She's a movie star. Oh, 
me meow i love her this if only i really mean this i really am living this i understand you i understand you you are my dream you're my new dream remember me anka anka remember me i have all these pictures to remember you by remember me remember me though i have to say goodbye remember me don't let it make you cry mm -hmm. oh we're so cute look at us i don't want to see you again okay not until i'm ready please don't show up on another one of these islands go home go back to your civilization throw a few girls in a volcano and i will be back for you my queen my queen i bend the knee at you my queen anka is my queen okay I am really out here telling Wilbur to take my ass home without Anka. Oh boy, at least I have pictures and memories. Please, please, please drag me in the comments for leaving Anka. I deserve it. I deserve it. Drag me in the comments for leaving Anka, but then also respect me for my resolve. Respect me for my commitment to Kyle. Because honestly, this is true strength. This is true strength. This is the kind of strength that I've only ever seen exhibited in the videos of the like three-year-old kids who actually don't eat any of the Skittles in those like TikToks. Um, that's the kind of strength that this kind of stuff takes, really. It was Anka, you guys. It was Anka. Out of every villager, it was Anka. This next one's either gonna be Eric or it's gonna be some completely disgusting abomination that I don't need to see right now. Freaking Wart Jr. is gonna come around from a tree. Oh my God, uh, come on. And she's wearing the cutest damn outfit too. Tell me how am I supposed to live without you? I really just got Fauna and Anka back to back and I am still alive. Is that a world record? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? I don't think you're ready. I, actually, you probably already know what's coming. Yep, another, another one that you wish you had. Hi, Stitches. I've been expecting you. This is just like the craziest experience I've ever had. Like, I am I think I'm literally gonna see like every villager before I see Kyle. Fuchsia is better than us. Fuchsia's above her peers in every way. Girl, take a selfie with me. My girl, she's like women supporting women. I love her. You guys see this? You guys see this? You see this woman right here? You see this? Do you see what I see? right now excuse me ma'am what is going on this is Audie. are you kidding me hi Audie. hey Audie. love you girl okay i can't believe i'm gonna have to leave her here i really can't is this real life is am i gonna be like this forever this is really disgusting this just like really is not right at all that i'm getting limberg um instead of kyle i just i really think that this is egregious Limburg is possibly one of the worst characters in Animal Crossing history. And I say that with, um, with my whole soul, with my whole entire heart and soul. I also say that as somebody who shares a birthday with this man, it's something that I'm not proud of. It's something that I tried not to tell people. Um, but I do share a birthday with Limburg. With Limburg, the yucky mouse. The yucky five o'clock shadow mouse who makes everyone feel uncomfortable, no matter who they are, or where they go. And I think that this is really a mistake for for everyone involved. <gasps> Maple, oh my God, it's Maple. My favorite best girl. I say that all the time when I see a pretty girl, but this is one of my favorite girls. Maple, Maple Lynn, get over here. It's Nan. Okay, Nan is um, Chevre's girlfriend. I don't know if you knew this, uh, but Nan and Chevre are like a thing. They're like together. If you have Nan, which I don't, she has a picture of Chevre over her bed. And I do have Chevre. I do have the girl called Chevre, the little white goat. And she has a picture of this girl right here, Nan, over her bed. Hey girl, uh, I kind of live in the same town as your, the love of your life. Fang, I know you're Fang because guess what? I was in your tent the other day. So many of you who follow me on TikTok might remember this, but if you do not, Fang came to my campsite the day Gloria moved out, so it was pretty exciting. I thought he was gonna move in. I was totally into him at first, and then he rejected me, 
And I didn't know that if you kept asking them, they would like eventually agree or whatever. So I just took it very hard. I took it as rejection um, because you know what? If you don't want me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. So me and Fang, we have a little bit of beef. It's fine. Oh my God, here she is. Violet herself. I feel like she's a dark, a darker character than we think. Look at her eyes. She's got like these dead eyes. She scares me. She really does. I feel like she's got nefarious intentions. Some of y'all are really out here like in Leopold. Bunny again. Hi, Bunny. Bye, Bunny. And I, oh. <laughs> well, if it isn't Lucky. I knew you'd be along eventually, Lucky. And I'm sorry that I can't take you with me. I found both you and Anka. Mm -hmm. It's Rald, you guys. You guys like Rald. What can I say? I mean, he's a bird. I don't allow birds on my island anymore. Uh, I know you want him. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I gotta do it to him. I don't know why they can produce Rald, but they can't produce Kyle the wolf. Wow, Rald's eyes are so big. I can like see him so clearly from here. It's very cute. Ugh, it's Ava. God, I just don't like this bitch. She's just too happy. She's, I don't like her good attitude, you know? She's like thrilled to see me and I'm like, Ava, you are the last person on earth that I wanted to run into out here. What's up, Pashmina? Well, if it ain't, <laughs> well, if it ain't you, Pashmina. Oh, she's like the prettiest girl in the universe. And I was like, hopefully I don't find her. It's gonna be really sad for me to have to pass her up. So, of course, you know. Alrighty, who do I got here? It's one of these islands. See, I'm starting to learn like all the islands and what I'm gonna need. Amazing. What do I got here? Oh! <laughs> what did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? I was gonna find him. Eric! <laughs> oh my god. So uh, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. I have officially found every single villager that I said I would stop my search for Kyle for and invite them to my town. Every single one. All of the ones that I was like, I probably won't find them because they're all really rare. But these are the ones that I'm gonna stop everything for and invite to my island. And I knew, I just, I mean, it's just, it's just really, it's honestly, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is the work of the devil. I don't know if it is the witch that cursed me. I'm not sure um, if it's Coco moving the strings, but it's just kind of funny that I literally, I was like, oh wow, five villagers, that's kind of a lot, but I probably won't find any of them before I find Kyle, I mean, am I really gonna leave Eric here? Ugh. Yeah, I have to. I mean, I've made it this far. I'm not, I didn't spend almost 300 tickets just to find Eric. I did it to find Kyle. Eric's so cute though. He's like way cuter in real life. It's Apple again. It's Apple again, y'all. I am, I hope I never see her face again. She, I mean, she's asking for it at this point. I'm like, I'm, I'm making the Arthur fist. You guys can't see it, but it's at my side and it's, it's ready to go. It's ready to fly. Come on, coach. Out of everybody, you doing me like this. I wish that they would give you the option to just pay these dodos off. I swear to God, I'll give you two million bells right now if you bring me to Kyle. I really will. Two million bells in cash right now in your hand. I will. I'm not kidding. I will give you two million bells. And listen, I know that I can go buy him from somebody else, but I don't want to. I just don't. I want to experience seeing him. I want to experience the joy of finding him myself. I think this is, this is fun. It's very... <laughs> It's, uh, you know, it's fun in the same way that some people like to like, you know, those, those, um, the suspension stuff that people do where they put the like meat hooks in their back and they hang from their back. That can't really be that fun, you know, cause like, it's, it's like not, that can't possibly be fun for people, but there's a lot of people out there who, who like to do that for whatever reason. Uh, no judgment. You guys are hard you guys are badass like they're you're the type of people that I'm like holy shit this is like the capacity of how strong and badass the human race can be and I guess that's probably why they do it it's like it gives them adrenaline rush it makes them feel like super powerful and just like wow look at what my body can withstand and that's exactly how I feel doing this it really is so you know I might end up someday you know I might throw somebody <coughs> however many bells for for, you know, Zucker or whoever. But I like doing this, I think this is fun, so. 
Wow, this is amazing. So I'm getting the whole pack. I'm getting the whole entire wolf pack. And by the end of this, I will probably have seen every single wolf twice, except for the only wolf that matters. This is Chief. Look at the side eye. <gasps> Chief. Chief Francis. I love Chief. Look at Chief. I'm like, <laughs> My friggin' finger is hovering over the tri the trigger right now. I wanna I wanna pull this. Oh my god, I'm quaking. I'm gagging. Look at the side eye. I love Chief. Oh Chief, look at him. He's the side eye. Every time he passes me, I should be dead. That side eye alone is a lethal. It's lethal, I tell you. Chief, thank you for cheering me up, Chief. I really appreciate. It. I wish I could pick those flowers and hand them to you. I really do. Let's try to get a picture. Me and Chief? Me and Chief? Huh? How about me and Chief? Me and Chief? Look at that side eye. I really want to get that side eye. Come on, Chief. Do the side eye. Do the eye. Do the thing. This is cool, though. We look like a pair of frickin'. Look at us. Look at us. Hey. Look at us. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing them. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm surprised. Miss Diana in the flesh. In the flesh. I was beginning to think that she wasn't even real. But here she is. Here she is. If you guys are not convinced that Diana exists, this is proof. This is all the proof you need. Look at her. Could she be any more real? I am simping. This is sending me. She's way prettier than you even think. If you've never seen her in real life, oh, look at that goth dress she's got on. Can you believe her? Can you believe her? The audacity? Diana. She really is dirty, Diana. Look at her. Oh, she's got a choker on. I'm done. She's sending me. Look at her. Oh, she's sickening. She's sickening. Everything from the lashes to the hair, oh, to that, to the blush, to the contour game, girl, excuse me, that laced backed down goth girl dress. I can't even believe it. Can you believe her? I just can't even believe her. Well, my friends call me Diana. What do you mean your friends call you Diana? You, your name is Diana. It's not like Diana is a nickname for something. Your name is Diana. What do your friends call you, Diana? They call you Diana. That is that was a power move, honestly, because she's like, my friends call me Diana because that is my name, and that's all they're allowed to call me. And you are. <laughs> she is no simp. I love her. I think I'm in love with her. I think I'm in love. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much totally in love. This has got to be a calculated effort because I really did know it. I was gonna find every single goddamn wolf every single wolf except for kyle how does that work how do you figure that how do you figure that how is this not a curse any of you guys who have not been believing in the curse up until this moment i'm sure that your allegiances have shifted obviously she is talented brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular never the same totally unique completely not ever been done before unafraid um, I just love her and she's perfect, but she's not Kyle, sweetie. I'm looking for one wolf and one wolf only and every goddamn wolf in the entire species of Animal Crossing that is available today has, has been conjured, has been summoned, has spawned, except for Kyle. How do you figure that? How do you figure that out? How do you do that math in your head? Because I can't, I can't figure it out except for to say that there's a curse. And that hopefully now that I've unlocked every single wolf except for Kyle, it's like, it's only inevitable, right? Like this is it. This is the last freaking key to the crazy mystic puzzle that I've been trying to put together all this time. Freya, you are the puzzle that I've been, this is, you're the piece. You are the missing piece, Freya, that I've been searching for. I got a sweatshirt with all the wolves on it of Animal Crossing. And it was funny because just earlier, like two hours earlier, this sweater comes in the mail from Etsy. And I was like, wow, so like in my search for Kyle, like I found every wolf except for this one, Freya, and this one, and it's Kyle. 
And I'm like, but I've found every other wolf, isn't that crazy? And now I've literally found every wolf, every wolf, every wolf, except for Kyle. Isn't that crazy? Has that ever been done before? Is it show stopping? Is it brilliant? Is it stupid? I think it's stupid. I think that the actual term that I'm looking for is stupid. I don't know what this is. This is art. I'm gonna claim that this is just art. Art, claiming that it's art always gets you away with doing stupid shit. So yeah, this is art. Don't question me, don't question my art. But I, I feel like Freya was the missing puzzle piece. I feel like that I've unlocked now every freaking like infinity wolf stone that I can just snap and Kyle is going to be on the next island. Let's hope that that works. Wilbur, two million bells right now. Take it or leave it. I got, I got two million bells for you with your name on it. You could have a whole different life. You could start a new life. You don't have, you can retire. Come on. You can go to the Bahamas. We'll never see you again. You can do all of this and more if you bring me to Kyle right now. You can end this and you can be two million bells richer. You guys can split it. You want to split it? Two million bells? How about two million bells for each of you? I can do that too. I can make that happen. What do you think? Just think about it, okay? Think about it. It's just kind of weird. Got a lot of questions. A lot of questions, not many answers. For two million bells, if you give me those answers, and if you provide me with those answers, I'll give you two million bells. All, the only, I only have one question I need answered. Where is Kyle? Where is Kyle? If you answer that question for me by, by providing me the boy in his physical form, alive and well, two million bells could be yours. Just think about it. So guys, the, um, the hack of bribing the dodos with millions of bells, it's, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, I did try it. And uh, I think it's just a rumor. It was started on TikTok. I'm not sure by who. Okay, Rodeo gives me major like Frollo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame vibes and that's not okay at all. Paula looks like Carol Baskin, doesn't she? Look at her, is that not Carol Baskin? Why is she Carol Baskin, Paula? Explain where your husband went. Imagine being Drago and showing your dragon ass face on my hunt for love. Look at him. He doesn't even care. He's unbothered that he broke my heart. <gasps> An unbothered king. We stand, but also we cry. You guys may or may not believe who is behind those trees. I caught a quick glimpse of her before I started recording. You ready? I don't, I think you probably, yep, you probably already see her. Yep, because guess what? It's Meringue. I mean, you had to have known this was coming, you know? Like, it's basically just, it was her and Raymond, and that's and Coco, I guess, but I don't really count Coco because she scares me. Basically, just her and Raymond were the only ones left of, like, the top 15 villagers that I haven't gotten yet. And there she is. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, my God. Look at her. Hi, I'm Meringue. It's actually spelled Meringue, and I called her Meringue for the longest time. But apparently it's pronounced meringue. It's just not spelled right, which upsets me because I like meringue. <laughs> I still sometimes call her meringue, but here she is. She's beautiful. She's a strawberry shortcake princess girl. And I'm sorry that I can't give her to you. And I'm sorry that I have to leave her here because she's so pretty. She's definitely like the best rhino. I love her <laughs> meringue. Yep, that's my life because my life is a joke. It's Pietro. Oh my god. Oh my god. As if I needed this. This is actually my nightmare. This is probably, um, this is the scariest. I don't know if there's any scarier character than Pietro. Maybe Coco to me. Coco scares me. <laughs> but that's kind of it. It's Coco and him. That are, This is the worst. I feel like I'm being stalked by Pennywise. What could he possibly have to say to me? I don't understand what happened here. Honk, honk. <sighs> oh, God. Wilbur, can you not ever bring me to an island where Pennywise is there, where it is on the island? Can you just make sure that you're keeping an eye out for, for Pennywise the clown, please? Because I really want to be alive when I see Kyle, if that's okay with you. Oh, my God, Stitches again. You guys jealous? Stitches is really cute, but I will admit, Stitches freaks me out because this is an inanimate object that's walking and talking, um, blinking its eyes even though it has none. I don't know if I trust Stitches, to be honest. I think Stitches is adorable, but I think that Stitches is also possibly cursed or haunted. Um, so I'm gonna leave Stitches here 
and uh, and keep looking for Kyle. So <laughs> I um I did it again, <laughs> and I bought another 400 tickets because I'm done. I mean I'm not done. I'm I'm not even close to done apparently. I only have seven tickets left <laughs> of the 400 that I bought the first time. Those ones are in storage. Uh, actually, I should probably put some of these away and get some like supplies. Uh, so yeah, I have officially spent over 400 tickets looking for Kyle the wolf. And I have not even ca caught a glimpse of him. I haven't even heard whispers of Kyle anywhere close. Meanwhile, I have seen... <laughs> I've seen Wolfgang three times now. I've seen Chief twice. I've seen Vivian once. I've seen Sky four times. I've seen um, I've seen Marina three times. I've seen Octavian four times. I've seen Marshall once. I've seen Stitches. I've seen uh, Judy. I've seen Anka. I've seen Lucky. I've seen Bo. I just saw Bo again. I saw Bo uh, five times now. <laughs> Zell. I've seen Zell three times. And the list goes on. Uh, I've just, I've seen basically, it's like, it's rare when I see a new villager. Um, it's like exciting. I have seen Del, the mechanical crocodile, a whopping nine times. I'm done. I'm through. I'm through. When will it end? This is insane. Um, and for those of you wondering, like, why didn't she just buy him? Why didn't you just find someone who has Kyle in boxes and get him that way? Like, why, can't, why, why, why do all this? Why not just, you know, spend all the money that you're spending on all these Nook Mile tickets and just buy, try to find his amiibo? The answer to that is that I just want to do this. I just, I like have to do it. Like, I, I've been. I've been envisioning in my head all along the moment when I see him, you know, and I've, I watch all these videos of people finding their dream villager and just how, how exciting that is for them. After all the work, they finally pull up and it's them and it's so exciting and that I just, I really, really, really want that moment. I feel like it's worth it. And as far as Kyle, like, I just want to know that I that I found him on my own, you know? There's obviously no, this is no shade towards anyone who does, you know, use amiibos or, um, you know, buys villagers or whatever, but I just, this is the one that I want to do on my own. After this, everything else is fair game. I will probably never, ever, ever work this hard ever again for a villager, ever. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens with these 400 new tickets. Hi, future me again. I just want to really drive home the point that I stopped recording a lot of the double and triple encounters unless they were notable. And here is the point where I really had to just not record anything new, um, except for this one coming up. <laughs> but other than that, um, I filled up my entire computer's hard drive and an entire external hard drive, both of which were pretty large. So there was no way I was ever going to be able to record all 824 encounters and I'm sure that's understandable you can believe me or you can not believe me but this took two weeks you'll hear more about it later and it was awful so uh, you won't get the whole scope of that because it was basically impossible for me as a lowly mortal but anyway uh, let's keep trucking love Alice she's definitely probably my favorite koala I think she's such a cutie She's definitely my favorite. It's always nice to see a new one now that I have almost seen everybody. <laughs> Not really, but kind of, honestly. Ed is my gay horse king. He's got the side bang. He's got the black tight shirt. He's got the pink eyeshadow. He is really a queen. I love him so much. I have, I have a lot of love for you, Ed. I really do. You're making my day out here among all of these duplicates I'm, I'm running into. It's nice to have a new face every once in a while. It's funny because like I've been so many times now that I'm just running into duplicates over and over. It's crazy. It's like it's, it's kind of rare to get a new one that I haven't gotten yet that tells you anything. Uh, hopefully we're narrowing down the search. I don't know. I'm not going to draw this out because I'm hurt, but I just want you guys to know that this is the fourth time that I've, that I've met with Zucker. At this point, we're just meeting every few days just for a quick counsel. 
Um, I mean, <laughs> am I an idiot for not just like saying screw it and like inviting him to my island? Like, am I an idiot? Or <laughs> look at him. He's like, he's coming to me every so often, like every quarter, it seems, of this journey. And just, just like, he's just, it seems like he's trying to remind me, like, just keep going. It'll all work out in the end. But then again, maybe not. Maybe it won't work out. Maybe I'll never find Kyle. Maybe Kyle doesn't even exist. And maybe, maybe this is just Zucker being like, take me home, please. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore, but I just wanted you guys to know that four times I've found Zucker. One, two, three, four. Four times. And I don't know what I would do without him. Punchy. Oh my God, I forgot about Punchy. Kind of. How do you forget about Punchy, honestly? <gasps> punchy. Wait, okay, so Punchy is amazing. How am I just gonna leave Punchy? Hi, Punchy. Oh my God, you guys, Punchy. Of course I find Punchy before I find Kyle. I have to find every other villager possible, period, except for Kyle. I love Punchy. I know you guys love Punchy too. I'm sorry that I have to leave him. I mean, I this one, he tempted me a little bit, not gonna lie. For a second there, I was like, what if I just invite Punchy? Would that be the same as Kyle? Would people notice? Would people notice if I invited Punchy and then said that I was successful in my journey? Billy, Billy, don't you have like, don't you have like trains to film or something? You should have some kind of a hobby as an old man. I could buy you a puzzle. This is like this 83 year old old man. He's out here getting it. Billy, I, I'm gonna pray for you. Oh my God. Have I not spoken to you guys about Blanche yet? Cause I know I must have, I must have brought Blanche up several times actually, because Blanche is one of my top like five favorite villagers ever. And here she is in the flesh, in the flesh, the tundra swan herself, Blanche, in the flesh. I can't even, Blanche, what are you doing here? You're better than this. Are you? <sighs> Girl, never. They would be out looking for you so quick if you were a castaway. You have no idea. You have nothing to worry about. That is never gonna happen to you, girl. And I'm gonna have to leave her here. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Every single villager ever that I like, except for the one that I'm looking for. It's, this is weird. I have to feel, I, I have to feel like this is the government's behind this or something. Like, what am I supposed to think? Blanche, my girl, Blanche. All of me wants to invite her to my island. All of me. Why can't I do it? I'm like so dedicated to this Kyle thing that I just can't even do it. I can't but invite my Blanche, my girl, my bestest girl. I can't invite her. I can't, not until Phoebe leaves because I already have Phoebe. I'm gonna be that clown that has Phoebe and Blanche on the same island. And honestly, it's gonna make Phoebe feel like shit about herself. It really is. I don't want to do that to Phoebe because if Blanche walks in, Phoebe's going to be like, oh, what am I even doing? What am I? Maybe it'll make her move out, but in the same, in the same vein, I want it. I want her to move out because she wants to, not because she feels like she has to, not because she's so insecure because Blanche, look at Blanche. How could you know? I, I'm a human being and I feel insecure because of, because Blanche. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Why don't I look like her? It's because I'm not a swan. It's because I'm not a bird. I'm a human. That's why I don't look like her, but I'm still insecure and I still feel like there's something wrong with me because I don't look like her. Look at her. Look at her. She's sickening. She's sickening. I'm physically ill. Blanche, you didn't have to do this to me. <sighs> but we will meet again, my girl. My favoriteest, bestest girl. We will meet again. Not before long. Before long. Oh, this kills me. Why? <laughs> Why, Blanche? When I find Kyle, I'm probably gonna actually attack him. I might actually attack him when I find him. I might be upset with him. I might yell at him. You remember that part in The Last Unicorn? I think I brought this up already. The Last Unicorn where like the um, girl, that woman sees the unicorn and she gets mad at the unicorn for not coming to her when she was a kid. And the unicorn's like, what did I do? I don't even know you, ma'am. I don't know who you are. But she's just like, where were you? That's how I'm gonna be for Kyle. Kyle's gonna be like, I've never met this woman in my life and she's yelling at me. And I'm gonna be like, where were you? Where were you when I needed you? I've looked everywhere for you. 
so uh, <laughs> might start the, the relationship off on a bad foot, but you know what? Whatever, we're still doing it. Blanche, I'm gonna have to catch you later. I'm sorry, girl, I'm so sorry. You even wore the, the kimono. She's even wearing the kimono. She pulled all the stops and it wasn't enough. And for that, I don't deserve you, sweet Blanche. Oh, Peach Hell, you are just as fresh as ever. Oh no, it's Bones. I love Bones. Bones is like one of my favorite doggies. Hi, Bones. Hi, Bones. Oh, I want to like give Bones some like sunscreen so that he doesn't get a sunburn on his pink nose, on his little pink nose. He's like a little bull terrier. He's got pink feet. I mean, how could you not like Bones? How could you not love Bones? How could you not want to die for Bones? <gasps> oh my god, the angel of my life. She's here. It's you, my enemy, Cole. Listen, they really did Cole dirty. I don't even like anything that I'm seeing. He looks mean. He looks like if he bites me, it's gonna get infected. I thought she was a figment. I thought she was a myth. Look at her, Mary. Oh my God, Mary's gotta be the cutest cat. Prove me wrong, come on. I mean, I know that I love Anka, but Anka's like not cute, she's beautiful. And Raymond isn't cute, he's just like Raymond. She's the cutest cat. Prove me wrong. Look at Mary. Oh my god, Mary. Uh, how do I... <sighs> Every single time I think that it can't get harder to pass up some of these villagers, the game says, challenge accepted. Hold my beer. I hate this. This is Mary. Oh, bless this girl. I love her so much. Look at her. She's wearing the same sweater as Marina. She's got her little double chin that I love so much. Oh, Mary, I love you so much. How am I just going to leave her here? Her little bangs. Look at her looking at me like I'm going to take her. Oh, I have to leave her here. Can you believe it? Can you believe my life? Can you believe this is my life? Of course you can because my life has been this joke. Has been this joke on fire, on wheels, for the last, I don't know, this since the entire video started. So that's cool. Maybe, maybe Kyle is on the horizon, but probably not. Hi, here's my hot take on Flurry. I don't like her. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Cool, there's that bitch Eloise. Look at how she's looking at me. Look at how she's looking at me and she turns around. Ugh. I can't stand her. I can't stand her. And I, I that's on period. I live by that. <gasps> it's Bam! Oh, I love Bam. I'm, I'm probably gonna see every villager that I even kind of like or remotely love in this entire thing. I've already accepted it. And here's Bam. Bam, I've been expecting you. You're like one of the last ones that I truly love so much that I don't think I've seen yet. Hi, Bam. Yeah, so I love Bam. I love everything about Bam. And <laughs> look at the freckles, Bam. Oh, he's like watching the butterfly, Bam. I'm, oh. Hi, Bam. I'm <laughs> basically here for survival training. Yes, at this point, yeah. Hey, who do we got? Uh, what? Are you actually kidding me? So, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is, this is actually, um, somebody that I know quite well, unfortunately. Uh, this is Gloria, and Gloria just left my island. I'm actually looking for her replacement. So, kind of, just the audacity of her to be here is shocking to me. It's pretty baffling. Um, it's also funny to know that this is where she ended up. Um, kind of, kind of just makes me, makes me happy because I know that this is exactly where she belongs. I, I, we had a lot of beef. Look at her looking at me. I really cannot even believe that she has the audacity to show her face here. I can't believe it. The sooner that I exit this, this island, it's funny that I find literally Gloria, who is actually the one I'm replacing before I find Kyle. Just, just a note. I don't know. There are so many things wrong with this. I don't even know where to begin. I'm, I'm about to just like say, Adi, come to my island. I'm about to kidnap her actually against her will and just like start it off on a bad foot. All right, you guys, it's, it's coming down to the wire here. And I really mean that. Like I just, I had like a really good moment. I took some time. I just started like building stuff in my town because I've been, I've been doing this for two weeks. This is two weeks to, to the day. And I have 40 tickets left out of eight, Hundred out of 800 I'm at my last 40 tickets over 800 tickets um, and I miss I just miss playing this game you know like it's been two weeks that I haven't done anything else when I come on here except for stay in the same day May 23rd 
and go all day <laughs> looking for Kyle. And I think, you know, it started out as like kind of, can you make it work where you just go and you have unlimited tickets and however many tickets you spend until you get that one villager that you want. Um, I tried that and that was like my experiment. And I guess it, I mean, it really is random. You know, you could, you could do it say, you know, I could have, I could have started this and said, okay, I have, you know, 400 tickets. I'm going to find Kyle, see how many it takes. And it could have only taken me 20 tickets, but instead I am, I am just about at 800 tickets spent. 800. And it's too much. And it's too much. I know some, some, most of you guys will be like, I can't, I actually can't believe that you went to 800 islands. I can't either. I don't know whether I'm proud of myself or completely ashamed. <laughs> Because I literally lost two weeks of playing this game. However, what my plan is now, because I'm done, I, I'm not going to keep doing this. I, this is the last 40. It really is. Um, I am going to open up the floodgates. I'm inviting whoever I want, not not him. Who's that? I don't even remember his name at this point. Rex. That's Rex. I'm going to invite whoever I love next who comes. I don't care if it's a girl. I don't care if it's a boy. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to just, this is, I think this is my plan, my loose plan. Um, plan one is if I see someone that I love, um, someone that I love, like I've seen everybody that I love already. If I see somebody I love, I'm going to invite them to the island. And then I have two weeks of time. Like I said, I don't time travel but I'm going to have to time travel to catch up. Like I'm gonna have to play two weeks pretty quickly. You know, I'm basically just gonna do all my dailies every week and then get up to the two week mark of everything that I missed. And in that time, I'm assuming maybe another villager will wanna move out and then I will have a free space. And at that point, I don't know if I'm ever gonna feel like I can even trust the mystery islands again. I don't know if I just wanna try to find someone who has Kyle in boxes, or if I wanna do that tonight, try to find someone who has Kyle in boxes, and then we'll go on a more random, actually fun <laughs> villager uh, search where I'll probably never have the same luck that I had on this one ever again. Uh, we'll see. but. Right now, I am trying to figure out a way to wrap this up at this point. I don't think I'll find Kyle if I haven't found him with, um, you know, with, uh, who is that? You know, I, oh, that's Velma. I love Velma. You know, if I haven't found him with, I actually need some pairs for building back home. If I haven't found him with almost 800 tickets, then I highly doubt I'm going to find him with this last 40. I really highly doubt it. Um, so, and I'm just so done. I just don't want to do this anymore. I really don't. Um, it sucks because like I had this idea in my head where I was really excited. I wanted to have that special moment of finding Kyle. But I just don't think that's going to happen at this point. And I think I just need to let it go because this is like, it's becoming something where I don't know, I just like wanted to have this video out and and like I didn't want it to be this whole long process, but now I have this huge video and I have like I still have to edit it and uh and yeah, it's getting to the point where maybe I should have just swallowed my pride early on. Um so yeah, we'll see who we find in these last last couple. But um but I'm, I'm pretty much convinced that it's not going to be Kyle and that I'm going to have to just find him on Villager Swap or whatever people are doing these days. There's been a lot of you who have offered me Kyle, and I'm sorry that I didn't take you up on it. Um, I just, I wanted it to be this way, but, um, but I guess that's not the way it's going to be. I don't know. We'll see who we find. Oh, Shari again. I've gotten her like several times. This woman. Another funny one. I, I caught a glimpse of him. You guys ready? It's to the point where I don't even remember if I've gotten him yet. Hey, it's Bob. <laughs> it's Bob. Oh, I can't believe it. Who's next? Raymond? Look at Bob. How am I supposed to leave Bob? Oh my god. He's wearing the shirt. I love his catchphrase. I love it. 
I love it. Bob, come on. The only one I'm missing is Raymond and I think Coco. Oh my God, we're so cute. Cute, cute. This girl. <laughs> Wolfgang's my second favorite wolf. <coughs> oh, she's a flamingo, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, it's my favorite dog. It's my favorite girl. He's looking so good in that leather jacket. someone who has Kyle in boxes. I think I'm gonna just go get him. I think I'm just gonna go get him. I gotta, I just gotta go get him. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go get Kyle. Yeah, um, <laughs> wow. This all for nothing. Well, it wasn't for nothing. I got all the pictures. <laughs> I don't know, it was just like a fun experiment, experiment, I guess, and I think I'm going to go get Kyle. And then what I'm going to do is use the remaining Nook Miles tickets that I have and go on another search very soon for an, another villager because I'm sure that somebody will be moving out pretty soon, especially since, again, I have like two weeks that I have to time travel to. So I'll just like be out on the lookout for anybody who might have their uh, their little thought bubbles going up you guys i found someone who is going to give me kyle they've got kyle in boxes i'm gonna go give them some stuff in return and i'm just getting my boy i'm getting my boy i know i know that i i held so fast you guys have to recognize how fast i held to this dream i really did um i think that anyone in their right mind would would just give up at this point it feels, it, it definitely does feel like it was all for nothing. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. It feels like I just wasted two weeks of my life um, when I could have just started off. But I, then again, I didn't, I wouldn't have known, I wouldn't have known, you know, I wouldn't have known that, that it wouldn't have worked out basically. Uh, like I would have always wondered you know, is it would it have happened if I had just kept trying? And uh, would I have been able to find him on my own? And, you know, I would have just like, I don't know, questioned that. And I guess that's, uh, that's not so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I'm glad I tried. I am. I don't regret that. I also think it's going to just be so funny to watch me just like look for this boy um and to see all the people that i passed up for nothing I, you guys get to definitely roast me for that because it's definitely a roastable offense so that'll be fun so and then from here um you know it's it's not it's a very open-ended ending it is ending at yes i'm getting kyle because i can't wait any longer and i've worked hard enough and i'm allowing myself to do this but also i have two weeks to catch up and it's going to be a quick two weeks where every day I'm going to be popping in and you know it's very possible that one of the I think five villagers the five possible villagers that I am anticipating moving out um it's possible that any one of them could want to move out and that 
my journey will start again and I'll get to find a villager on my own because you know I have good luck something about that curse I don't know if this time once I get Kyle it's just all gonna be bullshit but we'll see we'll see where we go from here but I will keep you guys updated with Kyle yes I am going and breaking down and getting Kyle from someone who has him in boxes um you know I wish it had been different but it is what it is and I will ha I will really look forward to the next villager that I want to leave moving out but Kyle needs to come home I need to have Kyle home hi Kyle oh my god I'm still so shy around him he's so cute you guys it was worth it <laughs> he was worth the wait and I you know what I I decided I've really come to terms with my decision to just get him at all costs um I've come to terms with it because I look at him and I see exactly how much he's worth even though I didn't find him on the islands, I went through 800 trips there and back, there and back, there and back over two weeks for him. And now he's here in the flesh. And it just like, it, it gives him this value, you know, it's, it's like when you have like a long distance relationship with somebody and you guys work so hard, it just like, it gives you that like, that history. I'm just standing here watching him. I haven't said a word to him and he's not he doesn't care. He doesn't care. I think that we really were meant to be. Ooh, I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I'm sending him. I'm sending him. Oh my God. It's Kyle. I can't even believe. I can't stop looking at him. I like can't stop looking at him. I just want to watch him. 
all day. And I think he likes it. I love the way you sweep this house. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to take great care of him for the rest of my life. He's my favorite. And he's here with me. Oh, Kyle. Okay, I really love this man. I, Kyle, we're getting married. Look at him. My baby. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy. And now I'm really, I'm just like, I feel really free, you know. I went on a journey for Kyle. And even though that's not the way that I found him, I found something else. I found my heart. I found my strength. I don't know. Insert, insert inspirational message here. Um, I found out that I just don't care at, at any point if these two bitches just get up and leave tomorrow. If they disappeared tomorrow, I'd be fine. Probably wouldn't even notice. So yeah. Yeah. You'll see me next time somebody decides to leave. But until then, it's been real. And I, I mean, thank you all for coming on this journey with me. We are bonded for life, whether you like it or not. And I don't think it'll be long before we set out on those dirty roads again. So please subscribe. And I don't, I don't know how to have a YouTube channel yet, so like I don't know is is it subscribe and like ring the bell and like and do all the other stuff. I don't know. Follow me. I don't know. Yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been really weird and I have lots more for ya coming. And I'm really enjoying this, even though it's 2 a.m. and I just finished like this. I don't even know. I haven't slept in days. It's fine. But yeah subscribe we'll see you later and thank you bye tune in next week because it didn't take long for one of these scumbags to want to leave and we are going to be hitting these dirty roads again real soon see you then